Welcome back for another video. I am the Maze Madman. Before we get started today, hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure to leave your comments down below. Today, we've got a comment goal of 300. We didn't reach it in the last video. We should do it today. Speaking of today, we'll be talking about a top target at wide receiver returning for an unofficial visit. We'll also discuss some other top targets returning for visits in the month of March, as well as a Michigan commit being one of Michigan's best recruiters thus far for the 2024 class. All that. And of course, I'm upset. Michigan defenders show out at the NFL Combine. Show some respect. <laughs> And the hustle is all muscle, just strength. When it comes to that weight, I don't struggle. I just live. Which leads right into why I'm mad. And I'm going to tell them why I'm mad. I'm mad because it's like Michigan didn't have seven players invited to the NFL Combine. It was like Mozzie Smith, before last college football season, wasn't rated as the number one freak athlete in all of college football. It was like DJ Turner and Mozzie Smith weren't part of a top 10 defense last season. It was like DJ Turner wasn't a shutdown corner in his own right. But then we got it in HD. Mozzie Smith, let's start there, led all defensive linemen. In fact, all players to this point, to the time of the recording of this video, with 34 reps of the 225 pound bench press. Shout out to Mozzie Smith. Turn around the next day, cornerback DJ Turner runs a blazing, blazing fast. I'm talking Barry Allen fast, 4.26 40 yard dash to lead all defensive players. Put some respect on their name is all I'm saying. No disrespect, respectfully. But disrespectfully is disrespectful. Moving on, Michigan is expected to have a top target back on campus on the 24th of this month. That's 2024 four-star wide receiver target Imarian Stewart. He's expected to make the trip back to A2. This will be... One of many visits for Murray and Stewart to Ann Arbor. He is, he has rather received two crystal balls in favor of Michigan. Michigan is expected to lead in this recruitment and would be a very, very good get for Michigan out of the state of Illinois. Of course, he's from that Chicago land area that is highly contested from a lot of the bigger schools in the Midwest, including Michigan, Michigan State, the Notre Dames and Ohio States of the world recruit that area pretty fiercely. Amari and Stewart, very, very polished route runner, also was a former seven on seven teammate of Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy and a high school teammate of Tyler McLaurin and Tyler Morris also was a member of his seven on seven team. So having him back on campus would be major for Michigan. He is being recruited primarily by wide receivers coach Ron Bellamy, as well as offensive coordinator and offensive line coach Sharon Moore. His relationship with Bellamy is very strong, and he actually spoke on it saying, yeah, that's my guy. He keeps it real with me and everything he says has been right. Nothing he has been talking about has been wrong, definitely showed when I got down there, he was telling me how the wide receiver room was like, how it was going to be. He's not going to tell me that I'm just going to go there and play. He says I'm going to have to compete. He just keeps it real. So look forward to wide receiver target and Marion Stewart being back on the campus of Michigan on the 24th for an unofficial visit. Speaking of the 24th, Michigan commit cornerback commit in the 2025 class Chris Yule will also be on campus on the 24th and is expected to be bringing along a Shamanad Madonna teammate for that visit a four-star 
safety prospect to visit Michigan as well. Chris Jewell just recently, this past weekend, took a visit to Florida State. He said the Michigan coaches weren't necessarily rattled by it. In fact, his primary recruiter, Steve Klingscale, Michigan's defensive back coach actually encouraged Chris Ewell to take his visits because he's such a young prospect and because he wants to have the experience of being recruited. Steve Klingscale told him to go ahead and take the visits and is not shaken up by him going to schools like Florida State. He is also expected to visit LSU and possibly Alabama coming up in the next couple of weeks. He is still a Michigan pledge and, like I said, plans to visit Ann Arbor on the 24th. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Obviously, I'll update as more information becomes available. Before we get into the next segment, I want to remind everyone we are after 300 likes for this video. So if you are listening at this point, just go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Let's get that 300 likes up. Comment down below. What do you think about Michigan? possibly getting or not even possibly they're gonna have Chris Jules and a Marion store on campus on the 24th it's a big recruiting month for Michigan let me know your thoughts in the comment section moving on so I've spoken about this in a previous video but Michigan commit out of Ohio offensive lineman Luke Hamilton has been Michigan's probably best and most outspoken recruiter in the class. He is obviously recruiting the kids from his native Ohio very hard, including Michigan top targets, Bryce West and Jordan Marshall, as well as Brian Robinson and the Armstrong twins, as well as Ben Roebuck. Let's start with top, 100 running back Jordan Marshall out of Archbishop Moeller in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hamilton, when asked about his recruitment of Marshall, had this to say, Jordan is special. He really is. I've watched the film a couple of times and I know he would be another Blake Corum type of get heart runner, fast, shifty and can do everything. I remember texting him once after he dropped the top four and said, hey, you realize you just won the we just won the Joe Moore Award again. Why would you not want to run behind that line? He said, "You're right. You're right. As long as he sees it, we're good. It's going up with him." So, Luke Hamilton realizing his role and realizing how important it is as a member of the 2024 class to continue to recruit his class. This is a classic case of what you are supposed to do as a recruit, as a commit rather, and that is to continue to recruit your own class. Now, moving on to former five-star cornerback, now four-star according to On3, Bryce West out of Glenville in Cleveland, Ohio. Hamilton had this to say about that recruitment. I love that guy. He does a team we do a team camp with Glenville every year last year we went up to Oberlin to spread the word of God and did some football stuff afterwards ever since then we've had a real tight connection Bryce is my guy and I'll do anything for him even when we played against them it was a tough game but we talked forever afterwards I talked to him every day literally every day Instagram Snapchat everything I texted him you're visiting in us right he said, yeah, and I told him I'll get up there on the same day as him. In addition to recruiting the kids in his native Ohio, he's also recruiting Michigan's probably number one overall prospect on the board. And that is, I know, quarterback Jaden Davis out of Providence Day in Charlotte, North Carolina. He said, quote, I would it would mean a lot to block for him. I want him at Michigan. I'm waiting for him and I'm ready for him. So Luke Hamilton really doing a bang up job on the recruiting trail for Michigan. In addition to the coaches, obviously doing what they do on the recruiting trail, having someone 
in the class, in the fold that is committed to the university is also huge and recruits want to see things like this. So we'll keep you updated, let you know if Luke's efforts bear any fruit until next time, though, I must bid you adieu. We have reached that time in the video, which means Without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, today, Triple M shout. Today's Triple M shout out rather goes to Rooted Rotor. You are officially a Maze Madman. Shout out to you, sir. Next up, we have Ernest Everich. Ernest, thank you. You are officially a Maze Madman. And after that, we're gonna go G seventy one. Thank you. You are officially a Maze Madman. Until next time, make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell and as always i'm upset <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this might be our best season ever all right all right now, now i'm gonna calm down